Hey YouTubers, this is Darren here at Northwest Marine coming at you with a much needed updated video. Um, as you, some of you guys know, I've kind of been offline here for about fa last five months. Wound up selling our place and downsizing and uh, um, living in a rental for the time being. So I wound up tearing down my 300 and my 180 since I've, which I've actually sold. I kept my 300 and I'm going to be doing an update on that once I get that set back up in the next few months and uh, I will let you guys know about the build and a couple of plans I have for that. So anyway what I'm looking at right here is a 40 gallon breeder. <clears throat> now when I took down my uh, my tank I wound up selling a lot of my bigger fish and I kept back some of the small ones as well as a, a couple of tanks. Um, I was at a friend's house here about three weeks ago and he was tearing down a 75 gallon frag. So I picked up this really nice orange shoulder tank. Now this guy's about three years old. Um, it's really peaceful. He's got some nice color to him. I can hone in on him a little bit. Really docile. So I got him at a great price. Also got this yellow eye coal tang right back here and also this yellow chorus wrasse. Now some of the corals I have in here, I've got a green galaxia. As well as a tongue coral right here. And also this green centerina. Hope I pronounced that right. Also, my local reef store had this sale, so I wound up picking up this green splatter hammer, as well as these two single stock pulsing Xenias. And I really like these Xenias, but also I'm going to be careful where I put them because I don't want them to take over my whole tank. And moving over here is a Space Invader Pectinia. It's actually got about three eyes on it. You can't really see him over to the side here. Of course, the tang wants to be the center of attention. I know he's hungry. I also have this red metallic brain coral. And this lobo. In the back right here, I've got a couple of torch corals. Now, in the past, I haven't had good luck with them. I've lost about three or four of them since I've been in the hobby, so I kind of gave up. My local reef store had these on sale, so I picked them up about uh, about a month and a half ago. The one on the left is a Australian blue tip orange torch. Now, when the blues come on, this thing really looks really nice under the light. And... I have an orange tricolor right next to it. And down here I've got a four-headed orange dendro. And over here I have a couple of zoas. I've got three of them. Uh, one got a little bit too close to the torch, I think, where the current took it over there, and it got stung. So I moved it, and hopefully it'll it'll come back. And in the bottom right-hand corner, I've got a trio of acans. Got a lordowensis right here, and a rainbow. And one right here. I keep my alkalinity anywhere from 8.5 to 9. I was on vacation out of the country and had, had uh, my sister take care of my, of my couple of tanks, and uh, she did a good job. Uh, unfortunately, I did lose one fish, but I guess uh, part and parcel when you're on vacation. Um, but she dosed for me um, using the uh, Seachem Reef Fusion 1 and 2. So... I'm keeping like like I said my alkalinity at between eight five and nine. So on the tank here I've just got a hang on the back aqua clear one ten. 
and I have a uh, Corellia power head going from the back giving me flow so far as the lighting here I'm using an Arctic T247 as you know CJ uses two of them on his 120 build it's a it's a great light I've had this probably for about seven months now and uh, I like it. it sits off about maybe nine ten inches off the top of the glass and I keep my blues on for about 12 hours at 80 percent and my whites for about seven hours at 40 um, I was kind of thinking maybe upping my blues to uh, maybe 90 percent so any of you guys want to go ahead and uh, give me your thoughts on that let me know but right now everything seems to be doing pretty well in here so anyway guys I'll just kind of leave it at that and uh, sign off here and like I said I'm sorry I've been offline here for a few months but uh, I definitely will be coming out with some content in the next few weeks Anyway, if you like uh, what you see, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, give me your comments and thoughts. And I will see you on the next one.